Hi everyone. Uh, so now that we're done with our RV basics of remodeling, we wanted to give a video showing the step-by-step -step of what we did to do everything that we did in here. So we wanted to do this one just on the cabinets because the cabinets alone were a pretty long process uh, that required a lot of steps. So we have 10 good steps that you can take that we used um, to completely prep your cabinets and get them looking really good like these ones that you can see right here. Um, just a little FYI though, we aren't professionals and this was our first time doing this, so there might be better ways to do it. I, do your research, ask around, but this is what worked for us, so. First step is well obviously the first step was to remove the cabinets from the camper what you got going on taking out cabinet doves we stripping it we stripping the DD Gotta remove them, take them out, take all the hardware out of them. Make little baggies to store all the screws so you can replace them easily and yes. label your cabinets. Yep, so step number two is label them. Label your cabinets so you know which ones go where because a lot of them are the same exact size but they don't fit perfectly over other um, cutouts because as you remodel your camper, you'll realize that nothing in it is made perfectly straight or perfect or put together just right. So it's very particular that you put your cabinets back in the right spot. So yeah. we, we mixed a couple up because we messed up with the painting colors and we found out the hard way that they don't fit perfectly, even if they look like they're the same size. Like everyone says, these campers are thrown together. And once you start taking it apart, you really can realize how fast they throw everything together and don't pay attention to detail. Yeah. So step number three I already kind of mentioned um, is to remove the hardware. So taking off, especially if you're doing, I mean, you'll want to take the hardware off no matter what to paint them to really do a good job painting and you don't want to have to tape around all the hardware. So take off all your handles, take off all of your hinges. Um, the insides of these and the campers usually have extra hinges that help to keep them locked. Spring in. hinges. Yeah. So they have those. Um, so you'll want to take everything off. So that's step number three. And then number four will be to degrease the surfaces. So just make sure you completely clean them off and there's nothing stuck on them because you don't want to be painting over things. Um, but you also want them to be very cleaned and like don't have any oils or anything on them because then the primer won't stick to them as well. So what we used for this was a mixture of just vinegar water. There are some other chemicals that you can use, but I was reading about how terrible they are for you and the environment, so decided to go with the vinegar water mixture instead because we already had vinegar at the house and it seemed to do just fine, so I would give it a thumbs up with the vinegar water mixture. You can do a little more research yourself though if you want to. Another thing we did in between coats and before we started our first coat of the primer was to sand everything. This was to smooth out all the surfaces and help the primer have an adhesive um, rough texture to stick to. Since the cabinets were kind of fake wood, they felt very slick and hard to get everything to stick to it. Yeah. Um, so step number uh, five, so four was degreasing. Step number five was to sand them. Uh, step number six was after you take out all the hardware, you'll want to um, fill in the holes for the handles if you're replacing the previous handles with new ones. So the handles that we have here aren't the ones that our camper came with. Um, the ones our cam camper came with only had one hole. It was just like the single little circle handle. So we had to go fill all those holes with wood filler and then re-sand over that. Um, because we didn't want those holes to be showing anymore where the new holes weren't going to cover them perfectly. So that was step number six. Step number seven, we used two coats of primer. Um, this seemed to be plenty enough for 
most of our applications and we didn't have to go any further with primer. Oh, uh, the, the primer that we used, we have a video that we'll show with it, but it was, it was Zines, Zinser was the brand and it's supposed to stick to any kind of surface. So smooth, glossy surfaces, things that aren't normally, um, maybe supposed to be painted like these RV cabinets, which are like, not really, they're kind of wood, but they're, they're like the veneered wood. They're not really like a good surface to paint. They're really smooth and glossy. So this primer worked well with that. We had to do two coats of that. Um, you could do more probably. Uh, we just went with two because we felt like it was enough and we were excited to get to the painting. Um, so yep, that was step number seven. Step number eight, in between all your uh, coats of paint, make sure that you're sanding and keeping any of the rough spots down. Um, for example, some of ours, um, when we painted the sides, the back side got little globs on the inside, so we had to sand that down and make it even so you can't see them anymore. Yeah, keep your surface smooth in between coats, um, especially before you start painting. So that comes to step number nine. After we did that and put the primer on and made sure everything was smooth, we then added our two coats of paint. Um, so it was two coats for the kind of off tannish color that we used of paint, but for the white, it was more like at least three coats, more like four coats. In some cases, we even had to touch up more than that um, in just a few spots. So for the white, it was it was a longer process but i don't know if it was just the paint we used or just because white doesn't have the pigment that covers as well and the color of our cabinets were very dark before um we'll show you what paint we did use for that it i wouldn't give it like a huge recommendation i would do a little more research and see if you can find something better it was just something i came across on like an rv blog and um i feel like our lives could have been a little bit easier if we had found a paint that was maybe a little bit better than the one we used and it, it wasn't that cheap either so like it's not like it was a really cheap paint that just like that's why it sucked but yeah and then step number 10 is obviously to replace or put back your original or new hardware and then I guess bonus 11 put it back into the camper <laughs> yeah bonus 11 find where everything goes again hopefully you still have your labels on them and you can figure out where you can put them back and everything works out. We had some, we had a couple issues with putting ours back in. Um, these bedroom ones back here were kind of difficult with the like spring hinges on the inside. We had a hard time getting them to line up perfectly with the new outside hinges that we put on, like the joint hinges, um, because they were a little bit further out than our previous ones, the silver ones. So we replaced them with black ones. Um, all of these hinges up here and for the side, these two side cabinets, they gave us a little bit of trouble. So that's something we had to like work through. We had to make some new holes, but you just kind of make do and figure out what it's going to take to get it right. So yeah, it, overall it, the cabinets was not a terrible, it wasn't terrible. It was, it was pretty good. Um, I would just make sure you have a good surface to lay them all out on. Probably don't use the ground. We used the ground at first and then we ended up switching to like a, we made our own little like workstation tables um and that made it a lot easier and a lot better with the drying process so there was no drippage and doing the sides was a lot easier so I would recommend if you can just go to Lowe's we picked up two stands for um and table saws for 28 bucks I believe or yeah, 25 dollars yeah 25 bucks and then a couple pieces of wood or something that you can put between the two just to have like a surface that you can lay the cabinets and everything out on so it was a pretty cheap fix because we didn't have anything like any workstation tables to use and we just did it all in our garage with what we already had pretty much. Yeah. Um, give this video a thumbs up if, if you're going to use any of our steps. We hope that we can help you remodel your camper and make it the camper of your dreams like we have ours. Um, we hope your cabinets turn out great and subscribe to our channel for some more RV life um, updates, remodeling projects, just fun travels, fun trips. Um, fun adventures and lots more so subscribe stay tuned <laughs>